Today I have for you a 10 minute second trimester deep stretch workout. We're gonna get started on the mat, leave those tight muscles as our bodies are growing and changing. We're gonna start with the child's pose. So take your knees wide, toes together, push your hips back toward your heels and then just walk your arms forward and release toward the floor. There's really no wrong way to do this. Just relax and try to let go. We're gonna hold each pose for about 50 seconds and then transition to the next, but feel free if you wanna stay here longer, listen to your body, whatever feels good to you today. All right, we're gonna move on to a frog stretch. I'm gonna show you this one from the front. You're gonna take your knees really wide, so even wider than the mat, and then you want your heels in line with the knees, feet flex to protect those knees. We're gonna slowly walk our way down, and you're gonna feel a big stretch in the inner thighs. So if it's intense right here, you can stay right here, or you can come up on your hands, whatever feels good to you, or if you feel really good, you can take your chest to the floor. Opening up those hips. Oh, for me, this one is really hard to do. But it feels good to release those hips, those inner thighs, everything that gets so tight in everyday life, but especially in pregnancy. All right, we're gonna move on to a modified pigeon. So you're gonna take one leg forward and one leg back, just like this, pulling that foot toward your inner thigh, and then you're gonna crawl forward and release. Try not to lean too much to the one side. Try to stay kind of in the middle or middle toward the leg that you're working just slightly. I'm gonna keep that foot slightly flexed to protect the knee. You're gonna really feel that deep stretch in your hip. If you want, again, you can melt forward into that leg to give it a little deeper stretch. But like I said, for me, I am so tight in my hips, I can't take it all the way down. So just do what you can. And especially as your growing belly gets in the way, you know. You gotta modify things a little bit. All right, we're gonna move on to a glute spinal twist. So keep this leg here, take the other leg, cross it over so your foot is outside your knee, and then you're gonna take that opposite arm and use it to rotate your torso. So you can kind of pull like this, take that back arm, reach behind. You can cup your glute if you want to, whatever feels good with this arm. Not, nothing really specific you need to do there. And just try to turn your chest out, um, collapsing. We want to keep everything lifted and strong. Again, great for opening up those hips. And your stomach might prevent you from twisting a little bit, but just do what you can. If you can't quite get this arm all the way over here, just twist like this. Even a little spinal twist will do wonders to release some of that pressure. We're gonna move on to the other side, doing that same sequence, starting with a modified pigeon. So one leg bent behind, one leg forward, flex that foot just a little bit, and then come forward, release into that hip. And don't forget about your breath. That's one thing I'm so bad about, is controlling my breath, taking deep breaths, belly breaths, not just short, shallow breaths, and just giving your body that restorative, yeah, just deep breathing that it needs. And that's really helpful for stretching and allowing everything to soften and open up and letting go of tension.
All right, we're gonna move on to that glute spinal twist. So keeping this leg here, we're gonna take that opposite leg, cross it over. And again, as much as you can, you can stay here. You can walk this hand back. You can use that elbow to give you a little more leverage to twist. You can cup the glute, whatever feels good to you. Just breathing. Staying calm. Close your eyes if you want to. I'm not a person who likes stretching because I don't like to slow down, but it's really important to do that. And I think pregnancy forces you to do that in a lot of ways. Having a new baby forces you to do that. So welcome that season. Embrace it rather than fight it. Okay, moving on to a downward dog. Everybody knows this one. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and I want you to tuck those toes, lift the hips nice and high and push back. And then push through the heels of your hands to try to create space in the upper back and the shoulders. And then as you're doing that, you're gonna feel that down the back of your body, your hamstrings, your calves. Can you push your heels toward the floor a little bit more? If you can't totally understand, I get super tight, my hamstrings, my calves, in pregnancy and just in normal life. So if you want, you can even pedal the feet here, working those calves, releasing that tension a little bit more, trying to get them closer to the ground. And just breathe. Let go of that tension. All right, we're moving to a forward fold. So we're just gonna walk those feet in. Feet can come together. They can stay about hip width apart. Like I've mentioned, I'm tight, so I can't straighten my legs yet. Hands can be on the floor, or you can bring them onto your shins if you do wanna straighten your legs, and you can't quite touch the floor. But if you can touch the floor and fold your body in half, I envy you. I've never been able to do that but I can work myself up to it. So just breathe. Again, notice where you're holding tension. Is it in your jaw? Is it in your face, your neck, your shoulders? Try to let that go and that will help you get your body warmed up faster, get deeper into the stretch, get more benefits out of it. A mental release just as much as it is a physical release. All right, we're gonna move on to an IT band stretch. So we're gonna stay here in this forward fold. I'm gonna have you bend the right leg, straighten the left, and then give me a twist. So I'm putting this hand on my hip to help me kind of open everything up here. You could also reach this arm up, and then I'm putting my right hand on the outside of that left shin. Keeping this leg straight, bending the opposite leg, and that's gonna help open everything up on that side of that IT band. For me, my IT bands were one of the things that got the most tense and tight um, when I was pregnant last time. And so I know I'm gonna be mindful of that this time as I get further and further along, just taking care of those muscles that I know are gonna get tight as I progress. Okay, release into that forward fold just for a second. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, you know. So straightening the left, or bending the left, straightening the right. Take that left hand, reach to the outside of the right shin. Take that right arm, you can reach it up. You can rest your hand on your back and glue. Just actively turning that chest to the side as if you could turn it to the ceiling, but I can't get there, I'm not that flexible. Opening up those hips, breathing into it. Don't forget to release that tension. Almost there. Let's 
just slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoy that 10 minutes second trimester prenatal stretch workout. Be sure to check out my other second trimester and first and third trimester pregnancy workouts as well. And let me know what you think and what you'd like to see next in the comments. I'll see you next time.